What's up, guys? We're here with Bryson. It's Danny. And Soraya. And today we are uh, recording our group project. We are doing Beethoven's Sixth Symphony, the last movement, which is the fifth movement. Um, we're going to go through the video. You can see our timeline and our cookies. Um, and we're going to analyze it as we go. Here we go. Okay, so the piece has a short introduction that begins in F. Oh, see, I didn't know it was going to stop. I was trying to, okay. Which is indicated right here by our little cookie. The primary theme stays in F, which is the home key, and ends with the PAC. This is the theme, guys. Let's take a listen. <laughs> transition that leads the piece into the repeated A section. And if you listen, it will cadence with the PAC. We're right here now, guys. Now we're at the repeated A or an A prime section in the home key of F. And soon it'll modulate to the 4 or B flat. It has the A theme until the end, which leads to the modulation. This section ends with a PAC in the new key, which is the 4 of the home key, or B flat. Alright, now we're hitting the C section, or the development. Um, which has a very different theme from the A or the B section. Um, it starts in the 4 um, in relation to the original key and is about to modulate to the sharp 5, but it will be brief. There's it's modulating to the sharp 5 and then it quickly modulates to um, a five right after. And there's the five, and with a PAC. And here we are, our transition in the five, in relation to the first key. And then you hear the elements of the introduction leading into the IAC. Okay, now we're into the recap. <laughs> oh, yep, there's the recap. Uh, we have... It's kind of hard to hear the, cl the uh, theme right now. It's not as clear, but... If you note, the uh, chord structure is very similar to the A section. It's actually the same as the A section and the exposition. Um, but, hold on to your seats. 
as it's coming back, I promise. The theme is almost here. It's coming. No. Yeah, man, it's coming. It's gonna be with the low strings. There it is! <laughs> thank you, thank you. And then this section with the PAC in the home key. To the B section. The low strings are, are tearing it up again. There's our cookie model. As you can see, we have the uh, B section cookie with a little bit of a uh, introduction cookie in there. Oh, yeah. So this section is um, still in the home key. It's identical to the first B section in the exposition. Everything's looking beautiful. This is the uh, transition now. We're gonna hear some sequencing. Beautiful transition right there. It's not gonna change keys though. It's pretty beautiful. Some tonicizations. Uh, it's getting crazy. Oh, oh. Okay, here's the A triple prime. Notice no accompaniment with the melody now. It's a little different. And then the uh, theme is going to be passed around a little bit to different sections. Embellishments on the themes. It's very sophisticated. I love it. I transition we have um, some thematic elements of A but it's really unclear there is a new theme um, and it's not very stable it varies a lot you see the elements of A or you can hear it um, but this eventually leads us to the coda um, and we'll have a PAC in one because it does not modulate even though it sounds like it's going to several times right there. It reminds us of theme one, but as you can clearly see, there's a nice bite out of the side of it, so it does not uh, exactly resemble it at all. More legato, um, and it kind of has a conclusionary aspect of it, like, and now we have finished our story.
thank you so much for listening. This was our Sonata Rondo form. Um, have a great day. Thanks. Yeah, we have to stop.